Good morning. This is part two of our first narrowboat holiday on the Kennet and Avon Canal. If you haven't seen part one, there's a link at the top now. If you have seen part one, you might remember that we picked up our narrowboat, the Blue Goose, at Hilperton Marina and set off up the canal. We moored up for the night near a very nice pub called the Barge Inn. Next morning, we turned the boat around and set off back down the canal towards Bath. We went back through the locks and under the bridges that we'd been through the day before. By now we knew the drill, managing the boat through the locks seemed quicker now. We passed through Hilperton Marina again and carried on down the canal. Travelling through lovely countryside, the next town we came to was Bradford on Avon. There's a deep lock here and we had to queue to go through. We went through the lock with another smaller boat. We had quite a crowd of people watching us. Funnily enough, nobody offered to help us push the heavy lock gates open. We aimed to moor the boat near a pub every night. Lots of other people had the same idea of course, and the moorings were busy. We had to moor up alongside the canal bank most evenings, using our mooring pegs to tie the boat up. One evening we struggled to find a mooring spot and ended up mooring next to long grass and nettles. Even the dogs were worried about jumping off the boat. Here's a view from the cabin. There was also a host of bridges around. There's lots of other wildlife around, large and small. This is a damselfly. And you know what these are? Some were closer than others. This heron is drying its wings. We carried on up the canal through more locks. We went through this lock with another long narrow boat, the same size as ours. There were lovely countryside views around us for most of our trip.
Do you know what this is? I think it's a ramp to help wildlife get out of the canal, but I could be wrong. We passed lots more narrowboats moored on the banks of the canal. We also travelled over a couple of aqueducts, which are really impressive constructions, particularly when you think that these have been standing here for about 250 years. We turned the boat around just short of Bath and made our way back to Hilperton Marina. We spent five days on the canal and we had very good weather, which always helps on a holiday like this. Good weather or not, hiring an arrow boat on a canal is a great way to spend a few days relaxing. I recommend it. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to our channel and see more videos from The Country Traveller. Thanks for watching.